ChatGPT is an AI-driven chatbot that you can utilize to create a website in just mere minutes. This is gonna be a very quick, helpful tutorial for you, showing just how you can utilize ChatGPT to build a website really quickly and easier than you think. Let's go ahead and jump right in. So once you head over to the ChatGPT website, it's really simple to use. And that's one of the best things about ChatGPT is anyone can use it. Interacting with ChatGPT is as simple as going down to this bar and typing in what you want it to do. One way we can utilize this to build a website is to use ChatGPT to help us brainstorm what pages we might wanna use on our site. So for instance, I could tell it that I have a small hairdressing business that's located where I live. I'm looking to create a website and I want ChatGPT to help suggest to me an outline for this site. From there, we're just gonna click send a message and let ChatGPT help us build this outline. You can see ChatGPT also works super quickly. So this can save you a ton of time, especially when you are trying to build your website. Having a tool like this to help you brainstorm is really helpful when you're building a website and can really help you with getting the creative juices flowing, especially at the starting point of creating your website. As you can see here, it's given us a list of some of the pages we might wanna include, such as a homepage and about us, services and so on, and gives us some bullet points that you might wanna include as well. Things like having high quality images and giving an example of what those images might wanna include, like showcasing your salon's interior, some stylists at work, happy clients and so forth as well as all of the other pages we might wanna have on our site. This will give us great building blocks for creating our website. So now that we have our outline created by ChatGPT, I'm gonna head over to WordPress and we'll start creating the pages themselves. So when it comes to creating pages on WordPress, there are a couple of ways we can go about doing this. You could use the traditional block editor, or what I'm gonna show you first is using a page builder like Divi. So by using Divi, this is gonna make the process a lot easier as well. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just make a new page and let's add a new page. One great benefit of using a page builder like this is that we can start off by using a theme already built for us. Divi has thousands of different pre-made layouts that we can start from. So I'm gonna choose from a pre-made layout and I'm gonna choose one that fits the brand of our company. So I said I was making a hairdressing site. For this demonstration, I'll use hair salon and we'll just go ahead and use the landing page for hair salon and I'll use this layout. Now, one major advantage of using Divi is that we can use Divi AI right inside of our page builder to harness the power of ChatGPT without ever leaving our site. This is super easy to do. So for instance, let's say I wanted to change this title around and use AI to help us create a better title. All I need to do is click this gear icon to bring us to the module settings. And then over in the text area, we can see we have this little AI button here, and we also have just generate content with AI. You can click either place. And if I click this drop down menu, you can see that it gives us the option to write with AI. We can improve this with AI and we have a lot of quick options as well. So let's go ahead and click write with AI and then we just need to tell it what we want it to do. So I'll bring down this content type drop down menu and we'll say it's a title and we'll give a little information about it. So for this, I'll tell it to generate a captivating title for our hair salon that's called Tangle Salon. And then one other awesome thing about Divi AI is we can tell this how much of the page context we want to take into account when generating this content. So you can either have it take the entire page into account, just the section itself, the module content, or no context as well. For this, I'll leave the page context, and then we just need to click generate text. Now you'll see it generates the first result here, and we have a couple options as well. We can either use this text if we like it, we can click retry if we wanted to generate another prompt, we can click improve AI if we wanna change some stuff around about it, say we wanna simplify it, shorten it, or if we wanna change the tone. We have a lot of different tone options, anything from creative to funny, sarcastic, etc. And if we want to regenerate all together, we can type in here to kind of refine what we want it to do. Once you're happy with the results, you can just click use this text and it'll automatically put that text into our page. You can use Divi AI to help you create copy with any text module on your site, everything from titles to copy and everything in between. Now, I mentioned earlier that you can use ChatGPT within a page builder like Divi, but if you're not using a page builder and you just wanna use WordPress's block editor or you're using something altogether, you can still utilize ChatGPT to help you with your site. Even if you're using a page builder like Squarespace or anything like that, you can still use ChatGPT to help you build your site. I'll show you how to do that real quick. Now, if you've already used ChatGPT to help you with your outline, you can pull information from this outline to help you build out your pages as well. So for instance, I can tell it to use the outline we've already created above to suggest a witty welcome message for our homepage. So let's send this message and let ChatGPT do the work. So you can see it's created this for us and it's given us welcome to, insert your salon name here, and then gives us a nice little introductory message. You can use ChatGPT to expand on any part of this here, which can really help you get your creative juices flowing. Now, while ChatGPT can help you create captivating copy, it's really important to not just copy and paste it directly and instead to proofread what it gives you. 
You'll always want to have human input when you're using AI tools like this, especially making sure that it's genuine and matches your brand. Now, there's another awesome thing we can do with AI tools, and that's creating images for your website as well. If you are using a tool like Divi AI, this is super easy. Generating images with Divi AI is just as easy as generating text prompts, and I'll show you how. So let's scroll down here, and let's say we wanted to replace this image. All you have to do is click the module settings like we did with the text prompts. And then over here where the image is at, we're just gonna click the AI button. Here we have similar options where we can generate or improve, and you have some quick actions as well. But for here, we're just gonna generate with AI. First, you just select the image style you wanna use. There's a lot of different options, everything from photos to 3D renders, cartoons, and more. Let's stick with photo from here. For this, I'll just say it's someone getting their haircut. If you have a reference image that you like this look or feel of and you want it to pull from that, you can upload one here, fully optional. And then you can change the aspect ratio here as well. And if you have a specific size you need it to be, you can change that as well. But for here, we'll just keep it simple and short and I'll generate this image. So as you can see, it's generated a few images and we have some options to go from as well. So if you like one, you can just go ahead and click the image that you want and hit use this image. If you wanted to generate four more, you can click generate four more right here. And if there's some that you like, but you wanted to generate similar ones, you can click the image itself and click generate more like this. Same as before, you can change the image style. And if you want to redefine your prompt, you can here as well. So let's say this is close, but not exactly what we're looking for. We can click that. Let's click generate more like this one. And then a short amount of time later, you'll have a few more images that you can use. Then once you have an image you're happy with, you can click it and hit use this image. And it's going to automatically put it into that module for you. And you can see it inserted the image into our module. Now, Divi AI isn't the only way that you can use AI to generate images. There are a lot of other tools out there that you can use. Photosonic, for instance, is a powerful tool that lets you generate lots of different creative AI art. It can help you create stunning, royalty-free images in seconds. Whether you're looking to create a surreal painting, a simple illustration, or even abstract art, Photosonic has you covered. There are plenty of other tools out there as well that can help you with this. I'm gonna link a blog article down in the video description. If you check that out, it's gonna give you some more tools that you can use to utilize ChatGPT and AI technologies to help you build your website. It also has a lot of awesome tips and tricks that you can use when utilizing ChatGPT for your website, but I wanted to keep this video short so I didn't go through all of those. So check out that blog article. Thank you so much for watching this video. Hopefully you found it helpful. Before you go though, make sure you check out some of our other content and like this video and I'll see you in the next one.